Hi, I'm Brittany and I'm excited to introduce you to the Shark AI Robot VacMop Pro. This is Shark's smartest wet and dry robot vacuum that adapts to your home while vacuuming and mopping. Plus, it pairs with the easy to use Shark Clean app. This innovative vacuum has two distinct cleaning modes, vac mode to vacuum your carpets and hard floors, and vac mop mode, which simultaneously vacuums and wet mops your hard floors, including hard wood, tile, stone, and linoleum for a complete clean. Let's see how vac mop mode works. To get started, attach the reusable microfiber mopping pad to the fluid reservoir. Your fluid reservoir comes with a reusable microfiber mopping pad already attached, but I'm going to show you how to take it off and put it back on for future use. To remove the pad, separate the Velcro from the back of the reservoir and use that tab to slide the pad off. To attach the pad to the fluid reservoir, slide it in the slot on the edge of the tank with your hand secured to the bottom of the reservoir and fold the tap over to the back. Once the microfiber mopping pad is secured to the fluid reservoir, fill the reservoir with the Shark Vac Mop Cleaning Solution or room temperature water to the max fill line. Shark recommends using the Vac Mop Cleaning Solution for a streak-free clean. It also leaves your home with a fresh, clean scent. You can find additional microfiber mopping pads and Shark Vac Mop Cleaning Solution in the starter kit that comes with your Shark AI Robot Vac Mop Pro. Once your fluid reservoir is filled to the max fill line, insert the dustbin into the back of the robot. This will hold all of the dirt and debris while your robot vacuums. Next, slide the fluid reservoir into the back of the robot with the dustbin already inserted. When secured, both slides will click into place. This attachment will apply constant agitating pressure to your floors while mopping. The fluid will dispense from here onto the pad and then onto your floors. Inserting the dustbin first and the fluid reservoir second is an important step in order to use vac mop mode. When you're ready to use vac mop mode, you will see two different indicators, one on your robot and one on your app telling you that your robot is properly set up. A white water droplet will appear on the top of the robot when the dustbin and fluid reservoir have been inserted correctly. The home screen of your Shark Clean app will update. If the fluid reservoir is properly inserted, you will see mop as the command button to be pressed in order to begin mopping mode. Once the robot is off the dock and mopping, you'll see an option on your home screen to easily customize the modes to vacuum and mop. I have multiple types of hard floors in our home, so it's great that I have the option to choose between low, medium, and high flow levels, and I can adjust that to the type of mess that I'm cleaning up. Also, because of my parents' long-haired dog, it's great that I can adjust the vacuum suction to max when they've come to visit. If by chance you receive a dustbin error message on the Shark Clean app, don't panic. Check your robot to see if you've inserted the fluid reservoir without the dustbin. This error message is your robot telling you that your dustbin and fluid reservoir both need to be inserted to begin vacuuming and mopping. To turn off the error message, remove the fluid reservoir, reinsert the dustbin, and then reattach the fluid reservoir to the back of the robot. Make sure that both sides of the fluid reservoir click into place. Once reinserted, you're ready to use VacMop mode. With the AI Robot VacMop Pro, Shark's got all your vacuuming and mopping covered, hands-free. Looking for more cleaning tips? Visit us at sharkclean.com.